Hello everyone, uh, my name is Anna, I'm business analyst at PGS Software and I would like to tell you a few words about a rapid elaboration workshop. Um, rapid elaboration workshop, in very short terms, is um, one day lasting on-site or online session we typically have with our customers uh, before launching a brand new project. Um, so every IT project is different and can have uh, multiple business drivers. Uh, maybe you are struggling how to approach building an IT solution. Uh, maybe you are afraid that there is no time for deep research and analysis, uh, but you need to quickly adapt to the new market circumstances. Uh, or uh, maybe you want to ensure your business agility, uh, but you don't want to risk your budget in such uncertain times. Or maybe you need um, an MVP or proof of concept for your investors, or you uh, just don't have well-documented product vision. Um, rapid elaboration workshop is something that solves all those issues. And the greatest part of it is that agenda is uh, squeezed to only one day. So if you want to um, validate your IT solution, validate its assumptions, or you are just not sure if it's a good direction for your organization, uh, you should definitely consider rapid elaboration workshop. Um, because it lasts only between six and eight hours and it doesn't require any specific preparations, it's a great option for people who uh, don't have time to sacrifice more than one day on a workshop uh, or who have uh, narrow deadlines and need to start their project quickly. Uh, so how to how does this workshop actually uh, look like? Um, from PTS side, we usually uh, the, the typical team usually includes uh, three people. It's one business analyst who takes care of the business perspective and asks appropriate questions. It's one solution architect um, who is responsible for architecture and technical aspects and one user experience designer uh, who constantly takes care of the end user uh, perspective. On the other hand, from the customer side, we would like to host um, a team of people responsible for the product and its development. So we would like to have one business representative and at least one technical representative. Uh, in small or medium organizations, it can be even one person, it can be a CEO or CEO plus co-founders. Uh, in um, medium and large organizations, uh, it will probably be future product owner and CTO. However, it all uh, depends on the organization. Um, how does this workshop actually look like? Uh, agenda is very, very flexible also. Uh, we always try to adjust the agenda to the customer expectations and desired workshop outcomes. However, usually we try to cover a few important areas. Uh, we discover business model in order to have a better understanding of the customer's workflow. Um, we try to set a business goal that should be clear for everyone involved in the workshop. Um, then we try to identify issues related to uh, current IT solution or the product vision. And uh, after that, we run a brainstorming session uh, to figure out a potential solutions for those issues. And we do it all in a very structured, organized way. Uh, because of current economic situation, we are focused on remote collaboration. And to run this workshop, we use um, online collaboration tools, for example, Miro. When it comes to the outcomes from, from this workshop, um, they typically include defined a project goal, um, defined uh, technical uh, and business recommendations for your IT solution, high level backlog, um, usually at the EPIX level, uh, also defined next steps for uh, your IT project. And in order to prove that it really works, I would like to give you two real-life examples uh, of workshops we already had with our customers. Uh, first example is related to a customer we recently connected with. Um, they had a clear uh, roadmap 
set for upcoming four quarters and they were looking for a partner uh, who will help him who will help them uh, bring projects from uh, these roadmap uh, to life so we didn't know uh, much about each other uh, therefore we decided to invite them to a rapid elaboration workshop and they agreed to participate firstly we ran a short introduction uh, to our company culture, we presented our development approach and typical roles in IT projects. Then we asked our customer to, uh, to present his product vision. And after this presentation, we used an analysis tool called uh, Value Proposition Canvas or VPC in order to summarize and organize the knowledge we acquired during the customer's presentation. Uh, we listed pains gains and uh, possible uh, solutions for those gains. Um, everyone was very involved in the workshop. Uh, as a result, the customer realized a few new ideas and uh, they added those ideas to the roadmap and they reprioritized the roadmap in general also. Um, as outcomes from uh, this workshop, uh, we had a um, high-level backlog at EPICS level um, and a bunch of personalized technical and business uh, recommendations for the future uh, project from the role. The second example I want to tell you about is uh, related to a customer we've already worked with. The customer wants to extend this team and involve business analysts in his team. However, uh, he was not sure about being a role in the project. Therefore, we invited uh, him for a few hours workshop hosted by business analyst and UX designer. And they used two uh, tools, also value proposition canvas or VPC and user story mapping. After listing um, games, pains, uh, pain relievers as uh, potential product features, they took those features from, uh, from Value Proposition Canvas and moved, that, moved them as um, high-level epics to user story map. Then they started to dig deeper and step by step they transformed um, those epics into functionalities and functionalities into detailed user stories. Uh, they uh, didn't have time to create a complex backlog uh, but it was not the purpose. The purpose was to present to the customer how we transform business idea into development task. Uh, as a result, customer was very impressed with the effort needed to do that and decided to involve business analyst, uh, analyst in, in his team. Um, so, as you can see, uh, we can uh, call a rapid elaboration workshop as a workshop framework uh, but we always try to adjust the agenda in order to um, achieve as valuable uh, outcomes as possible. Um, spend one day with us and you'll be able to decide on the next step of your next steps of your IT project. You'll get uh, business and uh, technical recommendations from experienced uh, team uh, who works uh, on IT projects from various business domains on a daily basis. Um, thank you for watching. I hope, to, hope you liked it and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye.